Hey guys, just a quick little reminder slash uh, message. I'm doing the giveaway, giveaway right now. The link to it is in the description box below. So if you haven't entered yet, do not miss the opportunity. And I hope you enjoyed the video you have clicked on to watch. Hey guys, how you doing? This is Margaret Satch and I'm here to bring you the review for One Piece episode 905. So we spend the first half of the episode really just Luffy, Zoro, Okiku, staring at Holden, coming to the decision of, alright, cool, we're not going to beat up Holden, I'm just going to steal Otama back, we're going to steal the food truck, I know this is going to piss some people off, but this is what we're going to do, and then we're going to head out our way. Also during this first half of the episode, we found that Okiku, at the very least, has heard of Shutemaru and the little band of thieves. Uh, there might be more of a personal um, link to one another there and then, but at least for the very least, we know that they've heard of each other. Also, during this half of the episode, we find out that Jack the Drow, you know, the guy who got one-shotted by Zhao, you know, those big expectations for Jack in the Zhao arc. And only for him to get one shotted by Zhao really made my day when when it, you know, when it happened back in back in the Zhao arc. But we find out that Mr. Jack did not die on this faithful day. He should have died. I really think he should have died on this faithful day. But he didn't die. He survived, and now he's back in Wano. And we find out that basically beating up Holden. We'll call out Jack the Drought. This is all the stuff we find out within the first half of the episode. So within the second half of the episode, this is where things get a tad little bit more interesting, more exciting, because we do get some action. However, um, the people that we are fighting against, or I should say the people that Zoro are fighting against, because he gets the majority of the action alongside Okiku, they're all fodder. So not very much excitement there. Just a really a lot of Zoro and Okiku having an easy time deflecting the attacks and obviously attacking back themselves and defeating the opponents they are up against. So that was all fairly easy for them. So on the other side of things we have Luffy who does does what he sets out to do, save Otama. Again fairly easy stuff. Easily speed blitz Holdem. Holdem cannot keep up with his speed at all. Saves Otama and before the finale we see Luffy just really basically dodging Holdem's attack. I don't know what was going on there because he easily speed blitz Holdem. Couldn't follow his Holdem couldn't follow his movements. So if he just wanted to escape, he could have easily done that as well. But we see him dodging attack from attack, and that's when Luffy notices says the damage that was done to Otama. This gets him mad. He changes his mind. He's like, no, 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 no. He has to feel a blow, so he goes get a second, gives him a red hawk, leaving Holdem essentially one shot. I know he punched him in the stomach beforehand, but you know, he lays him out one more time, leaving them one shot. And that's where we leave the episode, really. Zoro has got the food truck, they're ready to go. If they didn't leave ready, I can't remember. Luffy's one shot at Holdem, but because now Holdem has felt a blow, we know he's coming. Mr. Jack. Mr. Jet the Drought is coming, so for all you anime uh, on you viewers, I'm asking, you know, what's good, what do you think is going to happen here? Luffy versus Jack, Zoro versus Jack, both of them versus Jack, and the whole party comes in and fights like Jack, you know, what do you guys, what do you guys think about that? This episode does do one more thing, and that is essentially set up a Law versus Hawkins fight. Hawkins obviously has a brand new bracket. But at the back of our town, he intercepts Law, even though he doesn't know it's Law at the time. But just from the speech of Law, you know, saying that, you know, Hawkins knows our faces, so therefore we need to get rid of him or something along them lines. That's, that's basically fighting talk. That's basically fighting talk. So it's more than likely a fight will happen there. Uh, that is everything to happen within this episode. I'm going to give it, going to give it a two-star rating for pace and an excitement value because of placement and excitement value. Uh, just before I end off the video, just a quick reminder, the giveaway, if you haven't entered yet, do it now. 
you know, and you still got a lot of time, but do it now while you still remember, while it's still fresh in your brain. Like always, guys, I'm asking for your thoughts and opinions. If you haven't already, please go to my YouTube channel. But most importantly, take care. Have a nice day.